All right. Uh. Oh, Jesus. This right here, this is the first one. This is a two minute cookie. And this is what it looks like. So yesterday, I clicked on this video from Tasty, which was basically, I think, a chef making a two-minute cookie versus a two-hour cookie versus a two-days cookie, which, honestly, that's a lot of effort. I was slightly disappointed with this video, and the reason why I was disappointed is because I thought what was going to happen was that he was going to attempt to make a cookie in two minutes. Turns out that wasn't the case at all. So in this video, basically what happened was one of the recipes was supposed to have a preparation time of two minutes, the other one of two hours, and the other one of two days. So that wasn't actually a time challenge, which is, that's where my brain went immediately. So if you can't find the content that you want to see on YouTube, you should create it. So for this video, what I'm going to be doing is actually using a two minute time frame. Let me make sure you guys understand this. From the moment I look at the recipe to the moment that the cookie is supposed to be ready, I am only going to take two minutes and then we're gonna redo this with a 20 minute time frame and a two hour time frame and the recipe gets more and more tricky and complicated every time so there might be a reason why Tasty didn't attempt to do this didn't attempt to make a cookie in two minutes with like a professional chef and that might be because it's not possible so <laughs> we're going to find out I am as far as something can be from a professional chef I've already sort of prepared all the ingredients. What I didn't prepare was the measurements because I think that's a huge part of following a recipe is like the actual measurements. So it would just be too easy. So two minutes, 10 seconds. We're gonna do the 10 second countdown and then um, just get started. Okay. Oh my God, wait, let me think. Let me look at the recipe. Okay. So, all right, tablespoons is this one. So 30 seconds cooking, one minute here, and then 30 seconds for mess up. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, Jesus. Eight, seven, two, one. Oh my God, okay, so combine two tablespoons of white sugar with one tablespoon of melted butter. Okay, that wasn't really one tablespoon. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, okay, that will kind of be it. A little bit of salt. Oh Jesus, that's not coming out. Okay, two teaspoons of whole milk. So this is one teaspoon, so two. Oh, I should have mixed. Oh Jesus, that's not. Um, okay, we're gonna combine that. Okay, that does not seem like a lot. Um, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with some cross-contamination here to Jesus how okay uh, and then the chocolate chips and that's two tablespoons of chocolate chips but I mean we got no time oh my god we got no time for this oh Jesus okay oh no we need the 30 seconds to cook in the microwave okay All right. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we've got eight seconds extra. I feel adrenaline. <laughs> Is this what people feel like when they're doing sports? So, as soon as that stops, um, I have to stop the microwave because obviously that's the end of the recipe. I feel like I didn't forget anything, weirdly. Okay, five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Oh, Jesus. One essential piece of information in the recipe that I completely dismissed was whether this was going to make one cookie or multiple cookies. So, I guess we're going to find out. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It kind of looks like raw cookie, but also... Why does it look kind of good? Like, are you joking? I did that in two minutes. Did we kill this challenge? I am honestly still shaking. I'm not just saying this for the video, guys. This is so stressful for some reason. So this is our two minute cookie, which was 
I guess the one that I was the most nervous for. Now, here's the thing, for the next ones, the recipes are not this easy. So the next one is a 20 minute cookie. And in the end, we're gonna sit down and I don't know if we should like a blindfold test and see if I can taste the difference between the three cookies. Let's see what happens. So this is a 20 minute cookie recipe and let me just tell you that you know it might seem like 20 minutes is enough time but keep in mind that these cookies are supposed to bake for 10 minutes that means i've literally got only 10 minutes to follow a way more advanced recipe like this is so advanced they use the freaking ice cream scoop i haven't even preheated the oven or anything because all of this should be done within the time frame so <laughs> oh jesus Five, four, three. Okay, step number one, preheat the oven to 180 degrees. So 180 degrees and um, step number one, microwave half a cup of butter for 40 seconds. My butter is quite soft already, so it should be a lot faster. So uh, honestly, all I'm focusing is on the 10 minutes because I know I know that it, once it hits 10 minutes, it should be in the oven. So, um, so this is going to microwave for 40 seconds. Ugh. Terrible time for the microwave not to be working. Oh my God, Eng language, English, I don't know. Guys, my microwave is in Korean. Oh my God, eight minutes. Okay, can I start to do the next step already? Um, so the next step is microwave the butter and then mix the butter with one quarter of a cup of brown sugar So this is one quarter of a cup. Oh, no uh, Okay, we got no time to wash anything so All right, um, has it been <gasps> Why is the butter exploding? This is fine though, um, the butter is melted, so that's all that matters. The next step is to add the brown sugar and the white sugar that we measured beforehand because... Um, oh my god, I've got six minutes. Oh my god. Why is it not, it's not mixing, like the butter, it doesn't say anything about an electric mixer. So I thought this would be doable. The butter is staying on the surface, like it's not blending. I don't know why, but I don't have time for this. Okay. Okay, so this is the flour. Oops, it's fine. Ugh, this is so poorly mixed. Why is it looking so dry? Wait, there's more ingredients. Okay, done. Half a teaspoon of salt. I swear this thing is not working. Ugh. Like the flour is sort of sticking to the sides and not actually incorporating. I think it's because the butter, we let it cook for too long, this whole thing is cooking. Like, it literally looks cooked. It does not look right. I'm so glad it doesn't have eggs, because this would be scrambled eggs by now. One cup, that's a lot. Um, so I think we're supposed to do two types of chocolate chips. So this is one third of a cup and a little bit more of uh, dark chocolate. And these are milk chocolate chocolate chips scoop and place on a baking sheet okay I feel like before scooping we should be worried about mixing this and we've got two minutes and 20 seconds oh no the chocolate chips are melting <laughs> Jesus I'm not thinking about any of this guys it's getting so dark because the chocolate chips are melting so we're supposed to use an ice cream scoop and then just scoop out the cookies like one by one so that they're all the same size. Oh, they look so dark. They look way darker than I would have liked them to look. They should be in the oven right now. I'm not gonna lie, they look really dark. So I'm gonna just sprinkle some chocolate chips on top and hope that this is going to make them look better. Oh my God, five seconds. Okay, let me, let me. Screw it, I'm just gonna put them in the oven. Okay, so this is kind of what the cookies look like. They look very, very dark. All right, so. <sighs> All right, so we've got nine minutes and 15 seconds of baking. I have a feeling that these are just going to fall apart. Uh, you guys are gonna be so disappointed with this one and I'm sorry in advance. A lot of cleaning up later. We have finally 
got one minute and 30 seconds left and can I just tell you something guys I can't lie to you I looked in the oven and 13 seconds uh, we're going to stop two one oh my god it looks like a cookie version of that monster from stranger things oh We're gonna do the final comparison in the end, but how is it that a two minute cookie looks like that and a 20 minute cookie looks like this? Do you guys see why I stick to microwavable recipes and stuff that is really easy and really like my kind of experience? Because this happened, but we should move on to the big challenge of this video, a two hour cookie recipe. Like I don't think you guys are ready, but mostly I don't think I am ready clearly. So here we go for our last challenge. I'm gonna set up the timer for two hours and I mean the recipe is complicated but I'm honestly, I haven't prepared anything. I haven't even cleaned up from the previous one. So I'm assuming two hours will be enough. I didn't even read the full recipe. I know that it's like advanced. But let's see what happens. I'm gonna start up the timer and honestly, I'm not too worried about this. So I feel like we should just <clears throat> After killing a cookie in two minutes and completely destroying one in 20 minutes, I feel like two hours will be just enough. <laughs> so, fast forward to me literally panicking over this recipe. Okay, let's see. We've got two hours for this, but holy schnitzel, it starts in a skillet. Step number one is in a skillet add one cup of butter and whisk over medium heat for three to five minutes until golden and foamy. I don't know if I should be stressed or not. I can't really tell if two hours is like too much or too little for this. All right, so this is roughly a cup of butter. So this is supposed to cook over medium heat, so let me give you guys a close-up, but like, this is not golden and foamy, that is for sure. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but that is not golden. So maybe we need to wait a little bit longer. I feel like we're getting there, like that looks really, really foamy. I mean, that has to be it. I don't know why we can't just be happy with a simple, like, <laughs> two-minute microwave cookie. Surprise, surprise, this recipe calls for a freaking how do you even call it? A standing mixer? I haven't used this for so long that... <sighs> do you see that? There's like hairs, there's bacteria. It's honestly a true Coachella of germs going on in this bowl. Okay, Okay. so in this separate bowl, we are going to mix um, two and one third cups of flour. So this is one cup, so we need two of these. And then we need one quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. And that is basically it. So now this is like the dry ingredients and we can basically step it aside. And we've spent 15 minutes doing this. Like I'm not sure if this is good for anyone who's got like heart problems because it looks freaking radioactive. Look at this. When did you ever see butter look like that? This recipe is so fancy that it doesn't use brown sugar, it uses light brown sugar. I am honestly sweating with this video. Like the time pressure is really not helping and I know it's only been like 20 minutes, but I'm not playing any games here. Surprisingly, we're only on step two. Oh my god. Mix this for two minutes. So I'm gonna wait for this to get to 41 and then we'll do it until it's one hour 39. Two minutes. It's been around uh, two minutes of mixing and honestly these cookies I am expecting something else. This smells so good. I am not going to measure half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm, I'm just going to guess. Oh my god. <laughs> One egg. And I'm gonna put this in here. And another egg. Okay, there's not a lot of space here. I didn't anticipate how messy this last recipe was gonna be, but I don't know what I was thinking. A two hour recipe obviously can be simple. All right guys, so the mixture is getting lighter and lighter. Um, it still smells incredible, so how do you even do this? 
Why do I even own one of these when I don't even know how to operate it? There goes the flour. And then we're gonna do the chocolate chips after. So I'm gonna mix this for another minute. For the chocolate chips, I'm actually thinking of doing dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. Because I mean, these are supposed to be the cookies. So here goes the milk. I'm not going to like measure any of this because it'll be fine. These are the white chocolate. Oh, that smells so good. I fully understand why these have to rest for 30 minutes because if you guys look at the dough, it's honestly so liquid in comparison to the ones we've done before, but also a lot smoother. This is truly a two hour recipe because even without cleaning in between, look how long this is taking. A lot of cleaning up later, like we finally got space to do this. So this next step, actually we do need this space. That's why I had to clean up everything because we're basically supposed to refrigerate this and we don't actually have that much time because it's supposed to refrigerate for 30 minutes and we still got a lot to do. This this is a lot more solid than it was before. Look, it's, oh my god, this consistency is so good. We're supposed to form a long log. Oh shit, I feel like we need it a little bit more. So I'm afraid this is going to, oh no, it burst already. I'm getting really stressed with time because we still have to make the filling for these cookies. This is gonna be fine, so, uh, so this time around I'm gonna spread it into a long log beforehand. Does this even fit in my fridge? I'm going to try my best to like wrap this so that it doesn't... Oh my god guys, we killed this. So for 30 minutes this has to refrigerate and um, I think I'm just, I'm not gonna wait 30 minutes by not doing anything. We're just gonna go and make the filling for the cookies because there's still so much to do. Oh my god, this is beautiful. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. Okay, the reason why these cookies are supposed to be like bougie, like fancy, like hard work cookies is because when you cut into them, they're supposed to be soft. So the center is supposed to be made of dulce de leche, a white person version of dulce de leche, which is basically uh, using condensed milk and sugar. In a saucepan, combine one cup of condensed milk with four tablespoons of sugar over medium heat, and then you wait for 10 minutes, and it's supposed to turn like the color of dulce de leche, like a brown color. One cup of condensed milk is around... It's actually almost the exact same as one can of condensed milk. Four um, tablespoons of sugar. And I was supposed to cook this for 10 minutes. I don't know exactly what is going on. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys, but um, basically I'm mixing it um, even though it doesn't say to do it on the instructions because look if I didn't this is getting so thick so quickly Maybe on camera it will look a lot lighter because of the lights This is actually pretty good consistency and we didn't burn it which honestly I am surprised So this is supposed to take like half an hour to cool down so we can use it without melting the cookie dough So I don't know how we're gonna do that. Maybe I should keep it open for this to cool down I think I'm just gonna put it in the fridge because this is not going to cool down like it's so so hot I feel like we can't really wait any longer because I want to give it at least like 11 minutes for the cookies to bake because 10 minutes I find it very optimistic so if I hadn't wasted those first oh no it's still warm let's unwrap our work of art oh my god 20 minutes I honestly feel like nervous in my stomach I need to move quickly so I'm going to make like kind of like a shape like that and then we're going to use some of the dulce de leche like that that might be too much and then hopefully when it cooks it's going to go all melty and gooey so I don't have 20 minutes you know what I'm not going to measure this anymore this is more dosage de leche than anything else so this one might turn into like a bit of a mess these look insane in comparison to the ones from before but I think they're gonna take longer than 12 minutes to cook so I think they might be undercooked but here's the thing 
this is like a step that I'm creating myself because I think the look of chocolate chip cookies, it depends on how many chips you put on top. So this is gonna make all the difference presentation wise. 12 minutes is exactly how long I wanna cook this for. So 10 more seconds and I'm just gonna put it in. And this has been preheated for like a while now. And now I am done. 12 minutes and it doesn't even matter guys. This is the two hours that I spent making this dosa de leche brown butter cookies. Oh my god, 10 seconds. I'm so nervous to get these out. Two hours of my life went into making this. Credit where it's due though, like these, oh this is very hot. These look so much better than the 20 minutes and the two minutes. These look like real cookies. This right here, this is the first one. This is a two minute cookie and this is what it looks like. <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. Like honestly, why does it look incredible? This one on the other hand is the 20 minute cookie. So you'd expect this to be a slight upgrade from that, but <laughs> to be fair, it looks burned, but actually it's because the chocolate chips melted and mixed with the dough and that's why it looks dark. But in reality, I don't think it's overcooked, but we'll see when we try it. This is a two hour cookie. This is a cookie that is made of brown butter and all this other fancy stuff. It's got dulce de leche center. So this is what a two hour cookie looks like. <laughs> Jesus, I hate to admit it guys. But this is insane, like it looks so good. It honestly looks like a Subway cookie and to me that is a compliment. Look at the back of this, like that smoothness of like a Subway style cookie. You can just see it's gonna be so soft in the center. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to break these cookies into smaller pieces. First of all, because I wanna see the consistency, that's honestly really good so this one on the other hand you can see that the consistency is going to be actually it's still it's still chewy and last but not least guys i want to break into the dose de leche just to see if it's like solid in the center or like liquidy okay this is really hard to break into the center of it okay oh, there's a hair in it I literally can't see anything. I mean, I can't even look away. That's how little I can see. So, I honestly can't tell like what kind of consistency this is. Uh, let me grab like a, this little piece. Okay. It tastes like a Smarties cookie. It's good though but very, very sweet, wow. It's really good, but it doesn't really have like a traditional cookie flavor, which is really weird. I honestly don't know. I feel like it might be the microwave one. So this is the second one. Mmm, a lot crispier. Mmm, oh my God, that is good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. It tastes milky. It tastes expensive. It tastes like, I can't even explain. There's some flavor to this that honestly, I like that a lot better than the first one, but obviously I'm gonna do my official ranking in the end. Crispy as well. Wow, so much butter. It tastes cold. Wow, this is really crispy. <laughs> this is gonna go from my favorite to my least favorite. My favorite one was this second one. This was so, so good. My least favorite was this one. And this one in the middle, it was crunchy, but it had a good flavor. So it goes, the ultimate best, the mid one, and that one, I honestly thought it tasted a little bit weird. So let's, <laughs> Jesus Christ, imagine if I prefer the microwave one. Oh, I can't believe I got that right. <laughs> two hours, 20 minutes, two minutes working on a recipe for a long time. <laughs> that was so good. That was so, so good. That was honestly the best cookie I think I've ever eaten. That was like, I've never experienced this flavor. This is... <laughs> I honestly had so much fun filming this video. I would love to get your feedback. Was this fun to watch? 
Or do you think maybe next time I should actually try what Tasty has done? Or maybe I should do this time frame challenge into a series on my channel? If you'd like that, please don't forget to give this video a like. And let me know in the comment section what recipe I should follow next time. Like, like a, maybe like a savory recipe like pasta. Let me know like what recipe would be interesting in 2 minute versus 20 versus 2 hour. And I will give you credit if I take your idea. Thank you so much to those of you who tap the subscribe button and the notification bell because that means that every time I put up a new video you guys are notified and that is the easiest way for me to remind you. Thank you for all the comments on my previous video guys as well. Like honestly you guys' support has been for this past years it's honestly been incredible. So so thank you. Um, you know who you are, so I don't really need to say more. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you on my next video, which is going to be tomorrow. Bye-bye.